My name is Inaz. My name is Alex. I'm a third year student and I specialise in sound. I am a third year student do producing camera and lighting. I'm doing BA filmmaking. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. we're going there. Yeah. Um, when I got my offer from the uni, I knew that I was like interested in staying in halls. Why move to halls residence? You know, it's my first time and like moving away. So I was like, let's try and see what this uni experience is like. You know, they had the reception over there. There was also security there. So they had like a little truck and they do drive around just to make sure the whole area was safe. We also had a cleaner that came around weekly. I never had like my own proper space before like moving out. So to have that was actually it was, it was trying to get like, used to that. I was like, it's every time I unlock the door, I go through and I'm like, oh yeah, this is my place. <laughs> I think it was, uh, it was good having a mix of different students because if everyone there was doing film, then it'd just be constant, you know, whereas you get like a refreshment of like people talking about their course. And... You're really not that annoying, you know? Like, <laughs> like there's never like a boring moment um, in the halls. So yeah, it was quite fun. Hello, my name is Harrison Waistall and I am on the BA Homs Filmmaking course and I'm currently in year two and hopefully going to specialise in editing in year three. The way I found my first accommodation in Brighton was through the Screen and Film School through a listing of houses that were reserved specifically for students who would be studying at the Screen and Film School and it was very simple. Personally, I prefer living in a shared house rather than halls because Halls, even though it's a great experience and it's fun, it's it can get a bit difficult and a bit cramped at times. But obviously, if you're like living in a house like we are, it's a lot. You get a lot more freedom. So it was very weird um, and terrifying, to be honest. To be living with, for me, it was four new random people that I'd never met. But at the end of the day, they were all in the same boat as me. We all had shared something in common because we were all film students moving into that household and I've created excellent links with other people and friendships that hopefully should last a, a lifetime. The rent per month for this place is about 550 for plus 90 for bills. My money comes through a loan, which I'm lucky enough to get the maximum amount of loan out of, which allows me to be able to pay my rent and also pay for my weekly shopping so that I don't have to get a, another job. But in the summer, it doesn't cover for those few months for before the loan comes back through. So I do end up having to get a job, but there are plenty of jobs in Brighton. The maintenance loan that you get, you apply for it through gov.uk and it's quite a simple process. The benefits of being in a shared house is the fact that you're not alone and that there, hopefully, if you're friendly enough with those other people, that there is always someone to talk to. The Screen and Film School has such like a good community around it as well. I believe the film school has been very useful with support all the way. Getting between the campuses of the Screen and Film School is very easy because there's so much um, like public transport. My top five things about Brighton, one of them has to be the Brighton Pier. The people. Brighton's uh, seaside. The community. The lanes is a great place. Just the amount of like, food options there are. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course you'd say that. Uh. <laughs> I think the internet paints a very different image of what Brighton is like compared to when you're living in it and I think people should realise that actually Brighton is just a real good place of acceptance, I can't really stress that enough.